Aqua gang, what to do you guys? It's your girl, Empress 777 here today. Welcome to what is called a quickie message, you guys. All right, these are going to be quick messages that I'm going to be incorporating. Um, maybe once a week, we'll see. Holy Angels and Spirit Guys gives exactly what it is that we need to know in regards to the quickie messages for my Aquarius gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. These messages, of course, are still general, you guys. Just take what resonates with you and leave the rest for whoever is here for. Don't force anything to fit. Take a moment and click that like button, guys, as well as the subscribe button. If you want to make it official and become a part of the gang, then do that. Do that. Let's just pull one card from these romance oracles to gauge just the general energy. And then we're going to jump right into the, the, the most important part, darling, the... The main entree, if you will. Okay, Spirit, give us exactly what we need to know in reference to this general energy showing up for my Aquarius. Thank you. We have. When it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Okay? Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. This is somebody who wants understanding. This is somebody who feels like you're being too harsh. They possibly want a, and they possibly want to apologize or they already have apologized and they feel as though you are being brutal. You're not accepting their apology or you're not taking their apology as something that will suffice a reconnection okay when it comes to matters of the heart there's no right or wrong so this is the energy of you're not perfect nobody is perfect so this is somebody who is either playing the victim okay or you just might be fed up especially if this is somebody newer right if this is somebody that you've just started dating or somebody that you are just now getting to know if they started fucking up this early on you probably are like yeah no I could, i'll count my losses right i'm not gonna head down that road again if this is somebody that you have had multiple cycles with, then that could be a thing as well, right? It's like I've heard sorry before. Either way it goes, this is somebody who feels like you expect people to be perfect when you're not perfect yourself. So that's the energy that I'm getting from that. They feel like the two of you could just grow from the mistakes made, even though I feel like the mistakes that are being made are very much so coming primarily from their end. They still want some form of understanding. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. We've invested too much. Okay. We've come too far to let this go. Four of Pentacles. All right. So you're being stingy with your love, your time, your body. Okay. Your money. Um, all things that are you. All things that you would have been investing before. You're no longer doing that. This is having an extreme effect on this person and on their psyche, on their mind. Okay. We then have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. So these are changes that were necessary in your opinion. The Wheel of Fortune is about change, but it's more so about positive changes. So you're quite all right, potentially, right? With the Wheel of Fortune showing up, this does look like a change that was going to come either way. It's divine timing. Um, it faded, right? It's a faded event. This person could just be spoiled, a spoiled brat, right? So anytime you say no, it's like you never said yes for a pentacles. Now they're throwing some form of a tantrum. We have the Ten of Wands. <laughs> Yeah, this is heavy, you guys. So even though you might feel like, grow the fuck up, like grow a pair, you know what I'm saying? You made this bed, lay in it, like I'm moving on or I'm just not going to, to give you as much energy as I gave you in the past, okay? Or I'm gonna give you exactly what you were giving me, right? Rather than over investing, you're holding back a lot more. I do feel like this person feels miserable, okay? I feel like you were possibly... um taking on some of their stress as well right like things that they were going on that they had going on in their own life this could be um like losing a job or something uh losing a, a family member of some sort right definitely sending them love and light but that's still not your burden to bear so you were a great deal of support to this person. Now this is a drastic change for them to not be able to lean on your shoulder or ask you for anything. Yeah, I, I get this uh, notion that this person doesn't even feel like they can ask you for anything with the four of pentacles here, right? Like you'll rip their head off if they try, if they attempt to. They do know how much you have put into this. They also know why these changes have occurred, but they don't like it. Like, yeah, they're not with it. They don't like it at all. In fact, we have the five of wands. So this person feels like you're picking a fight. They feel like you are picking at them, um, that they don't deserve this. Not to this extent anyway. These uh, changes are too drastic for what they've done. They feel like you are, um, you're giving more of a harsher punishment than what it calls for, in their opinion. 
they feel like what they did wasn't that bad or they feel like their behavior, the way that they were showing up doesn't um, equal up to how you have drastically changed things. OK, wow. Nine of cups. So they also are viewing you as somebody who is very selfish. Now, of course, none of this has to be true. This is just the energy of this person showing up. Nine of pentacles. Wow. They are definitely fully focused on you, babe. The magician. OK. And the page of cups. So I do see this person wanting to make some form of an offer. Is this offer enough to hold up their end, right? Six of Pentacles is about reciprocity, balance. Um, I don't I don't think so, you guys. I have to be very honest, right? We'll, of course, look at the outcome in the extended, but you're showing up as the Nine of Pentacles, okay? In Tarot, that is pre-Empress, pre-Emperor energy. Somebody who has their shit together, somebody who is self-sufficient, somebody who can do with or without a relationship is definitely given the energy of... If you are in my life or if you are out of my life, nothing changes, okay? My life will still go on the same even if you decided to depart. Even if I decided to chuck the deuces up to you, I would still be conducting my life the exact same. They can't say the same for themselves, you guys, okay? So even if you didn't do anything uh, for this person in reference to, like, monetarily, there was still something very valuable that they were getting out of this that they no longer are getting, right? So they feel like their cup is even more empty than it was prior to meeting you. Um, this is somebody who doesn't like to take responsibility for their own happiness. What the... F <laughs> I'm not gonna curse. I'm not gonna curse! Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Ma'am Cerebrus sis. They want you to be understanding, right? They want you to just kind of be kind and take what it is that they have for you. Don't be difficult. Don't push back. Don't be too much. Don't ask for too much. Page of Pentacles is a very small offer. It does come off as innocent and somebody who's just kind of uh, extending an olive branch, somebody who doesn't want to ruffle your feathers. It can be very sweet, but is it is it packing any power? And can you really do anything with an offer like this? You know, especially depending on what it is that you are trying to manifest currently. Does this match what you're already bringing to the table? I don't think so. Let's clarify. Very interesting. Um... There's a level of entitlement here that I'm just definitely not comfortable with. Okay, with that nine of cups there, this person is kind of like waiting for you to come back around and they, they're going to be angry, even though they don't have the right to be. They're going to want to have this fight, have this argument about you thinking that it's okay for you to act better than them or you taking away their fruit snacks. I don't think that you want to go toe to toe with Aquarius and talking to your person now. I don't think that's a good idea. Your ego seems fragile, honey bun. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's giving honey bun. Okay. Real sweet. I don't think you want to go toe to toe. I don't, I don't think you're, I don't think you're equipped for that, but I feel like that's what they're bargaining for. Right. They're like, they're not going to go away without a fight. Can you please clarify this seven of pentacles? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have the eight of pentacles in the reverse. Look at that. Right. So you're not doing as much work. You're not doing any heavy lifting at this time. You're barely having conversations, if at all. Um, I, I feel like your attraction to this person has dwindled. Um, and it dwindled rather fast in their opinion. OK, see, we have the three of cups, right? I feel like it went from celebrations, popping bottles, going out, you know, having wild banshee sex. Okay, <laughs> Right. Knocking the walls out there. Boom. Right. It went from all of that to almost nothing. Really quick. Really fast. They feel like they didn't see. Um, not. It's not that they didn't see it coming. They just never thought it would happen. They thought that the two of you were on the same page. OK, where everybody is wondering what they need, what they want, what will make them happy. And everybody is on board to make that happen. This person likes a lot of attention as well, you guys. So you taking your attention away or ignoring them in certain ways is very heavy for them, more heavy than it would be for the average person who is able to regulate their own feelings, validate their own feelings and get their own self-worth from inside, from internally. Right. We have the King of Wands, see? It's somebody who needs, like, a lot of attention. You may have viewed this person as a lot. They don't, they don't see it that way yet. 
So you may have to literally tell this person why you have slowed things down, okay? Why their happiness is not more important or taking priority over your own. I feel like you have to really break this down to this person, okay? Hooked on phonics for this bitch. Like, they definitely don't get it. They are not comprehending. They don't even, they're not even trying to come up with a reason why you may have uh, disconnected in this way. In their mind, they just kind of want things to go back to the way that it was. Please clarify this five of wands. Yeah, let's see. Okay, your peace, your happiness, you being single, you being outside. It's really fucking with them, okay? Nine of swords. This is why they can't walk away without a fight, because even if they walked away, they would still be fully focused on you, pretending that they're not looking, but they actually are. OK, this person um, does view you as wish fulfillment, as we do have the nine of cups here. OK, um, however, they didn't want to work for you. They didn't want to earn. They didn't want to earn you. Um, so I don't know how fast you moved with this person. I did see the eight of wands at the bottom of this deck. I don't know how fast things moved. And I don't know how uh, fast you would have become interested in this person. You often take quite some time. You take your time getting to know people. But it feels like something about this was a little faster than normal for you. Um, and this is the only reason why this person would have viewed you as somebody who doesn't need effort. Who doesn't need to be worked for. Now don't get cursing me. Don't get to cursing me out down in them comments. I'm just reading the cards, guys. Please clarify this nine of cups. Yeah, see uh, the moon card. OK, so this person believes that they can just keep themselves hidden, keep their own resources to themselves. Right. Um, the, the moon card can often signify sneaky behavior, moving in the dark. Right. Wanting to keep things under wraps. Um, it's almost as if they wanted to trick an empress into committing to a page. But you don't get tricked now, do you? Do you? <laughs> Eight of Cups. Emperor. You can't make this up, right? Now they want to fight. You see? Um, this is their own battle internally with themselves. But they do feel like the beef is with you. Page of Cups is clarified by the Page of Cups, right? They just come with any... Listen, that is who they are. You can't change who they are. You can't change who people are. You can only change yourselves. And that's the type of shit you was on with the pay, with the wheel of fortune. Excuse me. I can't change you. So I could just change how, how, how I allow you to engage with me. I can change myself. I can change my location. I can change my number, bitch. <laughs> right. You're you get it right. And you are also leaning on the things you do have control over rather than waiting for somebody else to change. That might be a lesson that you've learned in this lifetime. So this was quick. They definitely felt this moon card energy w uh, gave them a, a foot up is what I will say. They do understand that they may have competition, but that was never a worry for them. But now they're worried. They are worried now, even if you're not seeing anybody, just the thought of you being single, being available, problematic. Because it does put them at danger of missing out. If you were intimate with this person, like sexually intimate, chill. <laughs> Savagery. <laughs> okay. They're dreaming about it. They're thinking about it when they don't want to. They're daydreaming about it. And then daydreaming about it again. And that also would be problematic when they're thinking about you being available, you doing what you did to them, to somebody else, with somebody else. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. Yep, we have the Ace of Pentacles. You gave them a big, big daddy offer. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Their lie caught up to them. You were able to see through the lie. And you got the fuck on. I mean... Can they really blame you? Yeah, they are. They're blaming you, you guys. OK, do I agree with it? No. Are they? Yes, they are blaming you. How do you go from investing this much to nothing? Silencio? Nothing. Silence is this is their notion, right? It's like radio silence. Even if you're talking to this person, it's like you're there, but you're not there. 
We have the Empress and the Emperor on the table. So I feel like you just kind of counted your losses, even if you kind of regret going as far or as deep with this person. You're not saying that they're wrong. You're just saying that you want to be right. You want to you want to be on the right path. You want to be on the right track. This wasn't the correct track or the correct path for you or you just did not feel that way. This is why you got out of there. And with the eight of cups, as well as the emperor clarifying this nine of pentacles, you are looking to go towards somebody who's more aligned with you, somebody who is on your level, somebody who can offer you more than this fish in a cup. The fuck? What are you supposed to do with that? Yet they want you to have the ace of pentacles for them. I feel like this person has um, possibly been able to get away with this um, their entire life, like even in their childhood, right? They can come towards people, have friendships, have all kinds of relationships, even platonic relationships, relationships with their family members and get the very bare, bare, bare minimum and get awarded for that, right? Get the resources from that from those people, from those energies. They are able to get people to give more over give. But see, you've done that before. <laughs> so you figured it out rather quickly for this person, this wheel of fortune. It's like a swift change, quick change. They feel like you're being very cold, cool towards them. Yet they are left with all of these emotions, these feelings, mostly mentally. I don't get them coming towards you expressing these emotions um, as like sadness it's more like anger like how fucking dare you type of energy okay yeah this is a mess this is a fucking mess okay so we're gonna go over to the extended um i'm gonna really dig in over there we're gonna get some time frames we'll get some outcomes the next steps all of the good things so that you can be well prepared for this uh, we will also look to see what you have to look forward to in the future we'll get some advice and for good measure we'll go ahead and throw in an axe the universe reading okay so without further ado if you're going to join me if you have resonated with this message i'm going to put the link for the extended reading down below in the description box i'm going to see you guys over there don't forget to like the video